you will like and subscribe and comment or it will be the last thing you do. Welcome back adventurers. I am today Sith Lord Ben. I'm Justine. Yeah. <laughs> and you're watching part two of our May the 4th uh, Celebration. Celebration. Transmission video, whatever you so wish. Uh, in the first one, we were kind of silly and tried to play the part. Don't know how well that went, but I had fun doing it. As you see, we are in our awesome new Jedi Sith outfits, and uh, I, I can't be happier. Like, I've always wanted one. Mm -hmm. Anyways, here in part two, to celebrate for May the 4th, we decided to finally go through the Galaxy's Edge cookbook and put together a bunch of different dishes. In fact, we made uh, two of the appetizers that were in it and two entrees mm -hmm. and one drink. Yes. Um, just so you guys know, word to the wise, some of these may not look exactly like they do in the book, mainly because um, some key ingredients are, were not available at the stores. For example, this people out there for some reason wanted to hoard and keep all the yeast. <laughs> Stores near us could hadn't had yeast in over a month. So the one dish is not going to look right, but we may do with what we could. And then the drink's not going to look the way it should because for some reason cherry puree is a lot harder to find than regular black cherry drink. So Danielle, which one do you want to do first? Do you want to start appetizers? Uh, yes, but I need the book to know what it's actually called. Okay. Which which one do you want to find it? I'll do this one. Okay, you're doing the roasted kajaka roots. Let me actually stand up there and show go. it. Mm -hmm. Roasted kajaka root, which it's a sweet potato that's cooked, and then it has like a yogurt peanut butter mixture on top um, with some granola. And you don't have to use granola. You can use uh, you know dried fruits. You can use uh, chocolate chips if you so want. And uh, I found this very, very good. I think it was delicious. What do you mm -hmm. think, Danielle? Yeah, it's very sweet. The, it, it's listed as an appetizer, but it could it could almost be a dessert. Yeah. You what know? I can do is I'll just okay. show them off. That works. Uh, the next one that we have is going to be the Rings of Hudala. <laughs> and Danielle's falling apart over here. So, Order a malfunction. It's kind of like an uh, <laughs> like an onion ring, but instead of breading. You have bacon, so it's a uh, brown sugar covered bacon, which then you have some onion rings, and then you bake it in the oven for about 15 minutes or so, maybe a little bit longer if you want it crispier. But delicious, like ugh, not nutritious at all, but it was delicious. Then our first entree, I gotta find it in here because I gotta remember what it's called. <laughs> There goes my lightsaber. We have the Hatiz Slime Pods, which these are just um, gnocchi with a uh, spinach, olive oil, lime juice, garlic, uh, cheese, cream puree on it. Um, this just took a little bit of getting used to to eat, but then we remember you're supposed to drizzle some sriracha on top, and with the sriracha, it made it completely different. It was delicious. Mm -hmm. So definitely would try it again. And then something that you would get at Galaxy's Edge at the Black Spire Outpost. It's that way. I know. Is the Ronto wrap. And unfortunately, we were gonna make Ronto wrappers, but like I said, we didn't have any yeast, so we had to make do with rolling out a hamburger bun. But everything else in it is the same, the chorizo, the ground pork, has some brown sugar in it, tomato puree. The best thing I would describe this as is it's pretty much a sloppy joe. Sloppy joe. Um, but regardless. But it's not like the Ronto wrap at Galaxy's Edge. Yes, there's something different between the two. Well, uh, yeah, because at Galaxy's Edge it's more of a sausage versus. Right, versus a ground. Yes. And lastly, we have the Hyperdrive, which this is a drink of white grape. Sprite, uh, let's see what else did we put into that. Um, we used black cherry juice versus uh, puree because, well, couldn't find any. Ben just made it, so I had to try it out. <laughs> I have, we haven't drank it yet. 
Uh, oh, there's a blueberry flavored sports drink in it. Blue Powerade. Oh, let me try. How is it? It's actually pretty good. Hmm. <coughs> that is different. It doesn't look anything like <laughs> the picture. Nothing at all like the picture. But very tasty. Um, everything you see here, I think I made these all in the span of what? Two hours? Yes. Something and I'm like falling that. apart over <laughs> here. She is. It doesn't take very long to cook, uh, and they're they're pretty, pretty awesome to make, and it's all delicious. So, if you are wanting to try some of these um, ingredients, or not ingredients, these uh, recipes, recipes, get yourself a Galaxy's Edge cookbook. Um, and Which it's, we did buy ours on Box Lunch. Box Lunch, yeah. You don't have to get it at the park. They are on Box Lunch. Um, eBay, or probably Amazon, Amazon, maybe, yeah. I don't know. I'm not sponsored, so I'm not giving any shout outs. <laughs> so anyways, uh, we hope you liked the video. In fact, you're going to like the video. Going to subscribe. And you're going to comment down below. Um, tell us, have you, have you tried any of these recipes at home? What recipes should we try next? Um, so until next time, my friends, make sure you're staying safe, whether you're on uh, Naboo, or Tatooine, Felucia, uh, don't matter where you're at in this galaxy, just stay safe. Until next time, may the Force be with you. Bye!